Ryan from By Design Radio National. Great. Vince, what's your favourite room? Uh, it's, it's a good question. I've, I've gave it a lot of thought and actually um, uh, thought of all the, the houses that I've lived in my life and all the different restaurants or galleries, etc. And I suppose, come to the conclusion that my most favourite room is my studio. It's a big open plan warehouse space and it uh, has a really good energy to it and it's, it's free flowing, uh, clients come and go. Really it's a place to play and kind of explore ideas and design, etc. Which part of the room do you enjoy the most? Uh, I don't actually enjoy any one particular part of the room uh, over another one. There's great light in the front in the morning, great light in the, in the back in the afternoon. There's like a pod area for kind of more kind of intimate meetings or maybe more private meetings. Front table here, which is the front of the studios. We have breakfast with our staff and we have lunch here, etc. And that's a, a really good time to interact with everybody. Uh, it used to be an old fashioned uh, textile factory um, and got all the original beams here, which are really beautiful. Um, wood floors, etc. So in, in this space, we have about 35 people and, and lots of different disciplines. So we have graphic designers, we have interior designers, product, product designers, etc. Um, down the back here, which is very bright at the moment, um, there's a very long table and here we kind of, when we're working on a project, we kind of get together 10 people and we all work together on this table and it's, um, it's a good way of kind of uh, working as a team. I just love being here. It's just a wonderful place to come every day. You know, the space doesn't inhibit your creativity, which I think is really important. How would you describe today's aesthetic? There is much more of an international look to things today. It's not no longer just, you know, an England, English look or an American look or whatever, Japanese, etc. Um, there is kind of a total mixture of how things are. And in a way, it's become quite Americanized in that respect, you know. You know, some, some years, like last year, you felt there's a lot of illustration going on. This year, it's, it's, less, more, it's much more about typography. Um, you can see that in films or in, sorry, in pop videos or in, in books and magazines. What was your last purchase? My, I have two extremes for that answer. And one is the new Apple iPhone. It's, for me, it's like the ultimate design. I think it's just because it's, it's so compact. It's so intuitive. It's just beautiful. The, there's no buttons to press. It's all touch sensitive. There was another thing that yeah, you down wanted the to end, Right down the very end of the studio, oh, well, there's another go. piece. Yeah. yeah. Um, there we go. Now this is um, a piece that I picked up in um, just recently. It's funny because I, I came from the UK uh, about four and a half years ago, and I really wasn't exposed to indigenous art before that, and um, or any Australian culture apart from usual cliches that you see. Um, and I just, it's kind of taken me a while to kind of, to warm to it. The more I've seen it, the more I, I, f I feel more of a connection with it. And I actually really think it's phenomenal. You know, in a way, it's almost like the Australian graphic, original graphic art, if, if you like. I'm just, wasn't a way I'm very careful about what I, what I like or what I purchase or uh, in terms of art. Um, and for me, this piece just really is incredibly strong. Uh, hurts your eyes too, which is cool. Like it just like makes your eyes zing.